Disclaimer po muna ng lahat ng akin sasabihin ay pawang um, pawang ayon lamang sa aking pagkakaunawa bilang isang um, estudyante ng psikolohiya. At ang lahat ng katanungan, uh, mga request, or meron kayong nais itama sa akin sinabi, maaari nyo lamang kong padalahan ng email sa mangkaraprecious at gmail.com at lahat ng sanggunian ay matatagpuhan sa Baba. So tara, atin ang simula ng ating talakayan. So, uh, ang nature versus nurture debate ay isang luma ng talakayan sa larangan ng psikolohiya. Um, Pinag-uusapan dito ang kontribisyon ng genetic inheritance at ng environmental factors sa human development. Um, sa, uh, ayon sa mga nativists na, na naniniwala na ang ang ating behavior at ang ating characteristics are inborn. Um, katulad na lamang, ang mga philosopher na ito na naniniwala sa nativist ay katulad na lamang ni Plato at ni Descartes at ni Noam Chomsky na ang mga characteristics daw natin ng ating behavior ay, naipa, ay naipapasa o ito ay resulta lamang ng evolusyon at na, ang mga traits na ito ay napasa lang sa atin ng ating mga manggulang na kung saan um, nagiging resulta ng ating pagiging unique sa bawat isa't isa. Um, ayon kay Noam Chomsky, naniniwala siya dun sa tinatawag na LAD o ibig sabihin ay um, Language Acquisition Device na kung saan uh, ang bawat um, nilalang na pinanganak ay may kapasidad na matuto at magproduce ng uh, language. Samantalang sa empiricism, uh, naniniwala sila doon sa idea na pinangatnak tayo ng walang alam. We are in a blank slate at uh, ito yung idea nga ni John Locke na tinatawag na tabula rasa na ang ating kaalaman ay dumidepende sa ating um, experience. So kung ating ang experience ay hindi makaganda, maaaring hindi rin tayo matuto or maaaring mag-backlash ito sa ating um, innate na kakayanan. No? Katulad na lamang sinabi nga ni John B. Watson, isang behaviorist, na all action and behavior are result of conditioning. Naniniwala rin si, si Watson na uh, an individual can be trained and learn anything regardless of their genetic background. It means that if you are born to be um, ano to, um, amputated, maaaring Um, matuto ka pa rin ng mga normal na bagay as long as the, the environment supports you uh, and you are equipped to be trained for it, to survive for, for your environment. Uh, halimbawa na lamang sinabi ni uh, um, Albert Bandura, um, isang nani, sa kanyang theory na social learning theory at sa kanyang experiment na Bobodal experiment, um, naniniwala siya na People learn through observing other. Kasi dun sa Bobo Doll, di ba, um, yung toddler, pinakitaan siya kung paano, paano i-punch yung Bobo Doll. And nung, yung bata na ang nag-isa at iniwan dun sa room, ginaya lang naman nung bata kung paano um, ginawa dun sa Bobo Doll. So, pinunch-punch din niya. So, naniniwala nga sila na um, ang ating knowledge, ang ating behavior ay according sa ating experience. Uh, halimbawa na lamang dito sa nurture nature um, debate ay pagdating sa sports, di ba? Maybe we are inborn, innate, someone, a person might be innate into athleticism, but the question is, does they have the support system to develop that athleticism? While in academic achievement, um, maybe they, are, they inherited um, intelligence, but the question is, Does the environment enrich it? Like, do they have the uh, the the uh, persons who teach them um, to to cultivate that intelligence? Like the environment of having lots of books, um, time to to grow, uh, to develop that that knowledge, their intelligence. You know, um, sa mantalang dun sa mga bata na na nambubuli ng classmates nila. The question is also, is that Child is have that 
uh, violent tendency or ito ba yung nakikita niya sa mga paligid niya, sa parents niya o napapanood niya. So, uh, maaaring both of it can contribute para doon sa kanyang um, um, behavior na nakikita natin sa kanya. So, pag, uh, kasi pag biologically, pag sinabi natin biologically determined characteristics, by nature, ito yung eye color, hair color, skin color. Sometimes, um, because of this eye color, hair color, skin color, um, nakaka, um, people, you experience, maybe you can be experienced to be uh, maracist ma ka ba? Para mabahing word na ginamit ko. Now, from that, syempre dahil naka nakatikim ka ng naracist ka, uh, magkakaroon ka ng feel feeling na awkward na sa sarili mo, you feel... Um, you lo um, you have a lower self esteem because of that um because of the the type of your skin color, no or maybe because of the type of your skin color or because of the eye color you look so beautiful and you are being appraised by your society and that gives you more confidence. So these kinds of all experience and your biological characteristics um goes hand in hand in um. Um, goes hand in hand in your experience and develops behavior um, that will help you survive in in the environment you are into it. Um, like the height, the body compos um, composition can be influenced by lifestyle environmental um, factors. So, pagdating kasi sa biopsychology, um, dito tinitignan yung neurotransmitter. When we say neurotransmitter, it's something to do with brain systems, no? Yung mga uh, yung mga tinatransmit ng ating mga neurons um, influence our behavior in nature sites like yung mga hormones natin, no? Ne um, serotonin, dopamine. So, this um, neurotransmitter really affects our behavior. So, ito na yung ngayon yung mga new technology sa paano nga ba inaaral ang nature versus nurture debate. Pagdating naman sa social psychology, pinag-aaralan naman dito how come, how does the peer pressure and social media, oh, imagine nyo mo, yung social media, so makabago na talaga, ay nakaka-influence sa ating um, behavior. Ito yun naman yung nurture side. Pagdating naman sa mga interactions, um, halimbawa na lang ulit na bibigyan ko ulit kayo ng halimbawa, yung perfect pitch and height, no? Um, Maybe you have the perfect pitch. I mean, it it can be um, inherited to your ancestors, but um, do you have the support system to to develop it? Like me, I am. Um, I have this. I have. Um, uh, my parents are both uh, singers, and even my brother. But no, not me. I really cannot sing. You know, <laughs> it's not my type. So that's it. Maybe because I I don't have that kind of environment that that my, my brother has when he was young, and the encouragement and everything. That's why maybe the perfect pitch was not um, able to develop in me. Um, in uh, sa contemporary views, um, may tinatawag tayo yung um, eugenics. Ito yung isang nativist um, approach. Pag sinabi natin yung eugenics, uh, they believe in the notion of a good birth. It was introduced by Francis Galton and Charles Darwin. Um, they believe that good genes produce better society by understanding genetic traits and societal um, success. Um, ang, cri ang, ang critic naman nito, eh, mga kritiko nito, nanin, um, sabi nila na this violates human rights and may remove desirable traits from a population's affect wealth, morality, and mental health. Actually, itong eugenics na to, um, maaari nyo, kung gusto nyo malaman um, ng malawak, medyo pwede nyo i-research eugenics and about um, Hitler. Kasi ito yung um, nagkaroon ng idea si Hitler regarding sa pag -e enhance ng Aryan race sa paggamit ng eugenics ni na Francis Galton and Charles Darwin. Um, sabi nga sa recent study, um, interested in, um, in recent studies, um, psychologists are interested in investigating how nature and nurture interact, no? So, hindi na dati kasi ang laging pinag-usapan, um, yung bang behavior natin, ano bang mas malaking composition nito? Is it by nature or by nurture? But nowadays, um, it's not about sino yung mas malaking impact 
but how does the, the nature and nurture interact to each other to become what we are right now, you know? Um, may, uh, sa panahon din ngayon, inaaral din um, ang epigenetics. So, pag sinabi natin, epigenetics is the study of how your behaviors and environment can cause changes that affect the way your genes work. Oh, ito medyo technical ito. <laughs> um, so, babasahin ko na lang. So, epigenetics, maaari nyo din i-research ito ng konti. Kasi ito yung mga makabagong talakayan hinggil sa nature versus nurture. So, epigenetic changes are reversible and do not change your DNA sequences. But they can change how your body reads a DNA sequence. Gene expression refers to how often or when proteins are created from the instructions within your genes. While genetic changes can alter which protein is made, epigenetic changes can affect gene expression to turn genes on, demet demethylation, and off methylation. Since your environment and environments such as diet and exercise can result in epigenetic changes, it is easy to see the connection between your genes and your behaviors and environment. So, ito daw yung mga approaches sa psychology from nature to nurture. Pag sinabi natin biological approach, pinag-uusapan dito yung genetics, hormonal, near neurochemical explanation of behavior. Samantalang pag psychoanalysis, syempre, andito si Freud, di ba? Ito yung sex and aggression, social upbringing during childhood. Samantalang pag cognitive psychology, pinag-uusapan dito yung schemas, per perception, innate mental structures, um, memory natin. Samantalang pag humanism, ito yung uh, mga um, mga physical needs natin, social, um, society influence, and personal self-concept. Samantalang behaviorism, um, it is the, uh, all behavior is learned from the environment through conditioning. So, ayun lang po ang aking masasabi regarding sa nature versus nurture. Um, kung may nais kayong idagdag, may mga bag um, pag-aaral hinggil sa larangan uh, uh, sa konseptong ito, uh, sabi ko nga maaari nyo akong padahalan ng email sa mangueraprecious at gmail.com. So, Abangan ang mga sumusunod na talakaya sa pagpapayabong ng kaalaman. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Paalam!